Ingenuity has flown on Mars. Our friend, the Ingenuity helicopter, has officially taken flight over the red planet. In this video, we will be talking about the details of the first four flights and what NASA has in store for the future of the Ingenuity helicopter, including how it may be assisting the Perseverance rover. So let's talk about that. First of all, let me give you a brief background if you're not familiar with the Ingenuity helicopter. It was launched alongside the Perseverance rover during the summer of 2020. The helicopter itself is what is called a technology demonstrator. And the reason for this is because NASA wants to test their ability to fly something on another planet, more specifically Mars. Now there are a lot of challenges associated with flying anything on Mars due to the very thin atmosphere. However, instead of making an entire mission dedicated to trying to fly something, instead Ingenuity is more of a tag-on to the Perseverance rover to see whether or not they can fly something that's pretty small, and if it is successful, then they can maybe design larger missions in the future that could be predominantly looking at trying to fly across the surface of Mars, rather than roving or using a rover. Now that's looking way off into the future, but what exactly is happening with Ingenuity? Well, some of the first characteristics was having to land on Mars, which took place in February of 2021. Now, over the course of around a month or so, the team at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, or JPL, would then decide on a region to test some of the first flights of Ingenuity, which they would later be called the Wright Brothers Field, named after Wilbur and Orville Wright, or the first to achieve powered flight here on Earth. And the reason is because Ingenuity would become the first vehicle to fly on another planet, or to have powered flight on another planet. To start off, Ingenuity had to overcome one of its first major milestones. And you might be thinking, the first flight. But in reality, it's actually the first night. And the reason for this is because Mars gets incredibly cold. The region where Perseverance and Ingenuity are gets down to negative 90 degrees Celsius during the night which could destroy electronics, avionics, or batteries that are within Ingenuity. Therefore, once it's deployed from the rover, the rover has to back up, allowing Ingenuity to gain power through its solar panels and have enough power to survive the night or keep its heaters on. Otherwise, most of the electronics would be destroyed and therefore it would never be able to fly. It all would begin on April 3rd, as the Ingenuity helicopter took its first colored picture as it was being released from the rover. And as Perseverance was backing up, it was also taking pictures from its hazard cameras. And as we can see here, Ingenuity is officially on the surface of Mars. Now the next day, NASA did announce that it survived its first night, which was its first major milestone. As NASA would continue to check the data and the software of the Ingenuity helicopter, the Perseverance rover continued to take pictures of it, including this high resolution image of Ingenuity on the surface of Mars and a couple of selfies with both Perseverance and Ingenuity. Now this image is a perfect time to recognize how incredible this mission is. Not only is there a state-of-the-art rover with incredible scientific instruments on board, but also a technology demonstrator that could change the future of Martian exploration, which is fascinating to see. And to see these two vehicles right next to each other on an entire another world is just remarkable. I can't get over how amazing this mission is so far. But let's get back to the timeline. The first flight was supposed to happen on April 11th of 2021. However, a few days before during a rotor test, or essentially when they are testing the blades, they recognized that there was a software issue, which would push back the first flight. In this case, it was pushed back roughly a week as they recognized what this software issue was and an approach to work around the problem. After they upgraded the software and performed a few more rotor tests, they were going to take flight for the first time. What you're about to watch is the first video of powered flight on another planet, taken by the Perseverance rover 60 meters away. The flight took place on April 19th of 2021. Ingenuity took off, hovered at three meters above the ground for 30 seconds, and then landed back on Mars with the total flight duration taking roughly 39 seconds. Here is an image from Ingenuity mid-flight looking down at the Martian surface. And in this image, we can see the shadow of Ingenuity, which is pretty remarkable. Now you might be saying that this first flight is incredibly cautious, and I would agree, but it is so in design. 
they want to make sure that they can recognize the entire system as a whole. How well does the Martian environment predict with their models? Is it relatable or are they way off? How much dust will be kicked up from the flight? Will the actual navigation cameras work if there is dust? These were all questions that they had and the best way to test it is with a pretty simple flight, just going three meters into the air and coming back down. And fortunately, everything was basically going as they planned. Many of the models that they had predicted very well to the flight that they saw. Additionally, dust didn't seem to be a problem much at all. Therefore, they learned a lot from this first flight and would continue to extend what Ingenuity was capable of doing as the flights would progress. Only three days later, Ingenuity would take flight again. This time, it would reach an altitude or go five meters above the surface and would travel sideways at two meters, being the first time that it would intentionally go sideways. Now, the total flight time was roughly 52 seconds in length, so being slightly longer than the first flight. During this second flight, Ingenuity took its first aerial color photos as well. This image was taken about five meters above the surface and in the picture, you can clearly see the tracks from the rover going out of frame. However, the rover itself is not in this picture. Again, you might recognize that this flight is cautious. However, by slowly extending what the Ingenuity helicopter is capable of doing, they're able to recognize what assumptions they're making and how they can improve upon their model to make the future flights even safer. Which leads us again to just a few days later where flight number three took place going a little less cautious and really testing Ingenuity's capabilities. It would fly up to five meters high, which is about the same altitude as the second flight, but instead of traveling just two meters, it traveled 50 meters downrange, reaching a top speed of two meters per second, which is about the pace of jogging or maybe a slight run. And then it would travel 50 meters back to its original location. Now from Perseverance's perspective, which is what this video we're watching is, it appears to go out of frame for just a few seconds and then come back in. Now another animation is showing the navigation cameras where we can see the shadow of the rover moving across the surface of Mars. Now you might be wondering why are the propellers not moving in this animation? And that is because the images are actually taken at a rate that matches the revolution, however much slower. In fact, the propellers go around 21 times in between each frame of this animation. Therefore, these rotors are really going fast. During the third flight, Ingenuity also took more color images, and this one is personally my favorite. Here on the top right of the picture, we can see where the Perseverance rover landed on Mars. There are two areas with a lighter orange color, which is associated with where the dust was kicked up during the sky crane maneuver, or as Percy was being dropped to the surface. On the far left-hand side is a picture of the Perseverance rover on the surface of Mars. This image is one of my favorite images of space exploration ever. And the reason for this is a little bit more of my own perspective, but recognizing the scale of Perseverance in this Martian landscape and how large an entirely new world is. It's fascinating to see this. And I'll probably make another video in the future discussing this in more detail. But to go back to Ingenuity and the flights that have taken place so far, as of recording this video, it has just recently completed the fourth flight, traveling further, faster, and longer than the previous flights, going 133 meters southward, and according to the team at JPL, they collected more images in this flight than the previous. However, we are still waiting for many of these images or results to be released. And as of right now, there are supposed to be few announcements coming up to learn more about what exactly has been learned and the future of Ingenuity. So a couple of days ago on my community page here on YouTube, I asked if any of you had questions regarding the Ingenuity helicopter. And there were quite a few really great questions. One of the first ones that reoccurred a couple times was whether or not that there's a map or way to see where exactly Ingenuity has gone this far. So I thought that maybe we could approximate a map. The issue is that NASA hasn't officially told us the heading directions whether it goes directly north, directly south, or some degree offset. And in reality, since Mars doesn't have a magnetic field, it's probably hard for them to know as well. However, we can approximate with the information that they have given us in some of the pictures that we have seen. 
Now we take a look at the Wright brothers field and we know where exactly Ingenuity would start off when it would fly, we can figure out where it might be going. Now one important thing to note is that the first two flights really just went up and down. Yes, flight two did go offset by two meters. However, for the most part at this scale, it really doesn't make too much of a difference. So flight one and two essentially stayed in the same location above Mars. However, flight three did travel 50 meters downrange and 50 meters back. And in this case that they said that it traveled northward. So I can only assume that it went along the flight field or essentially the Wright brothers field going directly along the north direction. Now we can actually overlay this information with where the Perseverance rover was at this time, which is represented as here. Now it's interesting to note what the video looks like as we see the helicopter starting on the left hand side and going out of frame to the right. In this case, we can assume that the rover itself is facing west or northwest. And given that information, we can know approximately where exactly it was going. Now, if we take a look at this video again, we can also see what's in the background because it's hard to put into scale what exactly we're looking at. Now, combining this with orbital images of Yezero Crater, we can see what exactly these different hills or mountainsides are. The first set of hills, which is behind Ingenuity and the ones that are a little bit smaller, are actually the edge of the river delta, which is one of the primary reasons that NASA picked this location to understand more about the ancient history of Mars and whether or not it was habitable. Now these hills are approximately two kilometers away from the rover. Now the larger mountains that appear in the distance are actually the rim of Yezero Crater, which are approximately 10 kilometers away from the rover. So this is really starting to put this into perspective. The Ingenuity helicopter at this point in time is within 50 to 100 kilometers away from the rover, whereas these hills and mountainsides off in the distance are essentially some of the destinations that the rover want to eventually achieve. Now looking back at the map, we can approximate where Flight 4 would go. Now NASA stated that it went 133 meters southward and then returned back to its original location. Now again, we do not know the exact heading or direction as of right now, but we can approximate it as it's shown. And we can also assume that some of the upcoming flights for Ingenuity might also go southward because that is some of the intended locations where Perseverance is interested in going next. Which leads us great into the next question, which is what is the plan for future flights and where will Ingenuity explore? Now it's important to remember what I mentioned earlier in the video. The month of April, 2021 was considered the month of Ingenuity giving the vehicle five flights. So why is this important? Well, these five flights were able to test whether or not NASA can actually fly something on Mars, which we've seen has been successful. Which leads us back to a question of why only five flights? Why don't they just continue to fly it until it doesn't work? And the reason for this is because it does take more work on perseverance in order to make sure the helicopter is flying, to image it, to communicate back and forth, and to send data back to NASA. Now you might be wondering why is this a big problem? And the reason is because time is incredibly valuable on Mars. There are many scientific instruments, samples that still have yet to be taken, and even more that we need to understand about the scientific objectives of the rover rather than flying the helicopter on Mars, although it may be incredible to do. Now, this is somewhat of a challenge. How do we balance this incredible technology that we're learning more about to some of the scientific outcomes that we want to see on Mars? And this isn't easy for anyone to answer. However, NASA in a recent press conference has actually extended ingenuity. Rather than just seeing five flights and maybe essentially pushing it to its bounds, instead, NASA wants to see if ingenuity can actually assist Perseverance in its exploration across Mars. But what does this mean? Perseverance inevitably isn't going to be able to get to every scientific location they want to see. Therefore, instead, if they're able to fly ingenuity overhead, that can help them determine which locations might yield more science than others, or what might be of more interest to depending on what type of rocks they want to analyze. Additionally, Perseverance does have to navigate across Mars, which is pretty difficult. In fact, every Mars rover has faced many challenges, whether being stuck in sand dunes or even breaking wheels. 
Therefore, if perseverance can actually be helped by ingenuity, where ingenuity go ahead and scouts for the rover, making sure that the paths that it plans on taking are actually safe and that perseverance won't be destroyed in the process. Now, I should mention that only two more flights have been added, meaning that's flight five, six, and seven to the current threshold. And the reason for this is because they wanna see if ingenuity can actually help. Now, this also means that ingenuity is going to have to land in a location where it previously had never been before, which is something that it hasn't done yet. However, flight four has actually was supposed to help with flight five. Essentially, flight five will be the first time where it will try and land at a location on Mars where it wasn't previously at. Therefore, all the pictures that were taken during Flight 4 will help this team at NASA designate a new landing zone for Flight 5. And this is also helpful because instead of having to travel 100 meters out and 100 meters back, that means that it can traverse maybe two or even 300 meters out and then land wherever it gets to. Now, this essentially is the purpose of this operational testing phase to see if Ingenuity can actually help Perseverance in its exploration of Mars. However, there will still be some limitations due to the fact that Ingenuity in itself was only designed to last on Mars for 30 days, which actually leads us greatly into the last and third question, being how will Ingenuity be retired? And this is actually a hard question to answer. Originally, as of early April of 2021, NASA stated that they're going to continue to fly Ingenuity and try and break certain thresholds, which I imagine that they'll continue to try. However, as of recently, they say they want to try and assist the Perseverance rover in its navigation across Mars, as we were just talking about. So first of all, and the most obvious one, is if Ingenuity stops working. As I mentioned, it was only designed to function on Mars for 30 days. However, we've seen in the past that rovers or robots on Mars have lasted much longer than their intended stay. The Opportunity and Spirit rovers are just two examples of missions that have gone way beyond the intended lifetime. To go even further, if Ingenuity does in fact crash land or land sideways, I doubt that there's gonna be a way to try and fix it. Maybe Perseverance could use its robotic arm to try and upright it. However, that might be a little bit too much for NASA to try and continue the mission, but that's something we'll just have to wait and see. Another point of order that could lead to the retirement of the Ingenuity helicopter is if it's not actually helping Perseverance. Although it's acting as a scout, but it might not be doing as much as the team wants it to, or it's just way too much effort for what they're putting in, then instead they might just try and push the helicopter to the extremes and see how well it can actually do. And ultimately, it could also just be left behind but I imagine that NASA will want to try and test the capabilities of the helicopter before that they just leave it on the surface of Mars untested. However, again, these are all things that can only really be told in the test of time. Again, who knows, maybe on the next flight it won't work, or even one night it just won't wake up. And these are all things that are feasible. But Ingenuity has already shown to be an incredible success, and I'm excited to see what will happen with the Mars helicopter over the coming months there's still so much to learn. If you have any questions about Ingenuity, the specifications, the design, or even the Perseverance rover and its mission, let me know in the comments below. I plan to make many more videos about this topic in the future. But with all that being said, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.